Hi, hi, welcome to Code.io. This is day 12 of 100 days of code and the question for today is called delete alternate nodes. So this question is basically a linked list question. So if you don't know what a linked list is, we have videos on linked lists and uh, operations performed on it. So it will be linked in the description and you can uh, watch that first before moving on to this video. Okay, so let me just read the question first and we'll come up with an approach. So given a singly linked list of size n, delete all alternate nodes of the list okay so you are given a linked list and you are supposed to delete alternate nodes in them okay so we will just we'll just see this example and uh, and see how exactly we are going to do that okay so uh, we are given this linked list right and uh, the elements are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and you are supposed to remove alternate elements so you are going to remove 2 4 and 6 because these are the alternate elements right and when you do that you are ended up, like you end up with this linked list with three nodes one three and five right so this is exactly what you're going to do so uh, now we'll come to the approach that we are going to use so uh, let me just uh, draw a simple linked list here i'm not going to draw too many nodes let me just end up uh, end with uh, four nodes right so we have a linked list with four nodes so initially we have a pointer variable called ptr okay let us assume that we have a pointer variable called ptr and it is going to point at the first node of the linked list okay so we are uh, it is going to point at the first node of the linked list and as you know every node has two parts right uh, a, a value part and the next part right so it will point to the address of the next node so so this first node it is pointing to the uh, second node of the linked list right so it, uh, the first node's value is 1 and it is pointing to the second node of the linked list so uh, if the address of this particular node is 2000 then the first node should be somewhere like this right the value part is 1 and the next part is just 2000 so this will be the first node okay if it is pointing to this one now what we are supposed to do is that we are going to link this first node with the third node okay because we are going to delete this second one right because th that is the question we are supposed to delete the alternate nodes right so we are going to make this first node of the linked list point to the third node of the linked list and we are going to del delete this second node okay that is exactly what you are going to do so for that you are just going to take copy you are just going to take a copy of the second node first because in order for you to delete something especially in c++ you need its address without its address you cannot delete it in case of java if you just dereference it it will be collected by the garbage collector so you are fine there but in case of C++ or C, you are supposed to get hold of that memory and you are supposed to free it. Okay. So for that, I'm just going to take a copy of ptr.next. Right. ptr.next. Okay. So I'm taking a copy of it and I am making, let us assume that the address of this third node in the linked list is 3002 okay so what you're going to do is that you're going to take a copy of this 2000 in temp okay now temp will be storing the address 2000 and you are going to make the reference part of the first node point to 3002 okay so 3002 because you are making it point to the third node in the linked list and hence it is 3002 okay now after doing this you are just going to do the deletion of this node which is by using free so you can just say free of temp okay and it will just delete that uh, node from the linked list fine okay this is the approach that you are going to do and after doing this you are going to uh, move the ptr pointer to the uh, third node in the linked list right you are going to move the ptr to the third node in the linked list and repeat the same process up until you reach the last node in the linked list okay so this is the approach that you are going to use 
ஹோப் யூ காட் சம் ஐடியா அபவுட் இட் நவ் வில் ட்ரை திஸ் இன் கீக்ஸ் வகிக்ஸ் அண்ட் சி இஃப் இட் ஒர்க்ஸ் ஸோ ஹே வே ஆர் இன் கீக்ஸ் வகிக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஐ லீவ் த லிங்க் டு திஸ் கொஷன் இன் டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் அண்ட் யூ கேன் ட்ரை இட் அவுட் ஆஃப்டர் வாட்சிங் திஸ் வீடியோ ஸோ தே ஹவ் கிவன் த ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் த நோட் ரைட் ஐம் ஐம் சால்விங் திஸ் இன் சி ப்ளஸ் ப்ளஸ் இஃப் யூ ஆர் டூயிங் இட் இன் ஜாவா இட் வில் நாட் பி அ ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் இட் வில் பி அ கிளாஸ் ஓகே ஸோ இட்ஸ் எசென்ஷியலி த சேம் யூ டோன்ட் ஹவ் டூ வரி டூ மச் அபவுட் இட் த சென்டெக்ஸ் இஸ் மோர் ஆல் இஸ் சேம் okay so you are supposed to complete this uh, delete alt method okay and you are given the head node of the linked list so now as we already saw we are just going to create a couple of uh, pointers right the first one being ptr and we are going to assign head to it okay because this is the pointer that you are going to use to traverse through this linked list okay we have we have created the ptr pointer now the second one that you are going to create is called temp because this is the one that you are going to use to delete the alternate nodes right okay so initially i am just going to assign it to null so fine okay so we have created two pointers one is ptr which has been assigned with head value and the other one is uh, temp which is initially null now you are going to traverse through this linked list so for that we are just going to use a while loop so why do we use a while loop because we don't exactly know the size of the linked list or uh, uh, you don't know to how much extent you have to move to the next way, next node right and hence we are going to use the while loop and the condition being ptr not equals null and ptr dot next not equals null right so ptr not equals null and ptr dot next not equals null okay so this is the condition that we are going to use if ptr itself is null there is no way that you can find a, a node after this right that is not possible and if ptr dot next equals null uh, you cannot uh, get hold of that memory in temp and you cannot delete it right so it, it just means we have reached the end of the linked list and there is no more operation to be performed there okay so this is the condition that you are going to use for the loop and inside this you are going to perform a couple of things right the first one being getting hold of the memory that you are going to delete right so i am going to take a copy of that so uh, the uh, pointer that you are going to use for delete is temp right so temp equals ptr dot next because that is the node that we are going to delete and uh, make the ptr point to the third node right so we have got the uh, memory that you are going to delete temp is equal to ptr dot next and that is the one that you are going to delete now you are just going to make the current node point to the third node right so ptr dot next equals sorry ptr dot next equals there are a couple of ways that you can do this you can just use ptr.next.next dot next, which means the next value of the next node okay so uh, ptr.next.next not next will work and another way could be temp.next okay this will also work because temp is essentially ptr.next right so uh, it means ptr.next.next dot next. anyways it is just going to point to the third node in the linked list okay so now we have connected the first node with the third node so essentially we have disconnected the second node and we have got the memory of the second node now we can just delete the second node and i'm just going to use the free method for that and i'm going to pass the temp pointer to it so it will delete that memory now we have done all these things now you are just going to move the pointer ptr to the next node in the linked list so ptr equals ptr dot next and that is it so that is all the operations that you are going to perform and now we'll try to run this and see if it works the code runs perfectly fine and all test cases have been passed so hope you understood this logic and the time complexity for this is essentially order of n and uh, we haven't used any extra memory right so it's uh, order of one space complexity as well and uh, uh, for uh, java it's quite uh, similar to this but maybe you will be required to use dot instead of the arrow operator okay so you can do that and uh, you will be using class instead of a structure and uh, what else and you don't have to use the free uh, function or something equivalent to that because the garbage collector will collect the memory by itself once you dereference it 
so that is that okay uh, hope you have understood this if you have any questions put them in the comments and uh, thank you so much for watching see you on day 13 of 100 days of code bye for now